All right, everybody, welcome to today's episode. Yesterday's episode, I look like a fat pig in the, in the freaking tub. It was because of the way I was sitting, all right? I'm not actually that fat. I'm not actually fat at all. Chi Chi's were being pressed together like some of you YouTube girls do. <laughs> oh, sick bird! <laughs> the only problem is I'm not gonna get more views because I pushed my Chi Chi's together. Unless if that's a thing for you guys, let me know in the comments and I'll do it. Anyways, today's a super dope day for a couple of reasons. Main reason number one is because we're going to get the Pro 2 chassis. You guys keep asking me, What's the What's the Listen, if I told you, you'd unsubscribe because you're not gonna like it. You're gonna be upset. But what I can tell you is that a good buddy of mine is giving me a car for free. He says that he was praying about it. He felt like the Lord was telling him to give me the car and it's exactly the car I was looking for in the exact condition I was looking for. And it's free. Huge blessing, so thank you so much, JoJo. But I have something else I want to address today, okay? Recently, someone came on and, and, I, and apparently this person doesn't watch my videos anymore because of what is going on, which I'll explain right now. But I just want to touch on this, okay? Because I don't want anybody getting it confused on what's going on. Okay, so we're doing the Missile Mary Give Back, okay? And what the Missile Mary Give Back is doing is it's helping us fund the Pro 2 car in, in, in ways that you don't even understand. Like, look, there's a lot of fees that we have to cover to get this car done, and you guys are helping us get it done, and also getting some product out of it. Now, the crappy part about the giveaway, which isn't really crappy, but I can only do US residents and there's all these rules and regulations and laws and all this stuff that we're following, okay? And a part of that talks about US residents only. If somebody in Mexico wanted to join the support team and like just like, hey, I know I'm in Mexico, but I can't I can't like physically get the car here because it's against the rules, but I still want to join the support team. You still want to buy a steering wheel or a shirt or stickers or whatever to help us out, to help us build a Pro 2 car? That's totally cool. You would not not be qualified because you're Mexican, okay? If you live in Canada, you would not not be qualified to win because you're Canadian. It has everything to do with your location and nothing to do with your race, okay? This is kind of kind of got out of control. Listen, let me let you in on a little secret. If somebody at Holdfast treated you bad, it's either me or Hannah, because it's the only two of us there, which means that I know that nobody's treated you bad, because why would we do that? What do we have to gain from being a jerk to you. The only time you'll ever see me responding to somebody in kind of a jerkish manner or kind of like a what's your problem dude manner is because somebody said something to me so I just, I just naturally want to like hey, let me troll them real quick, okay? But you'll never not be able to enter any of our giveaways ever because of the color or orientation of your genetic makeup that makes you something different than me. You know what, Italians, next one. You guys are in on this. Just to, let me just prove that I'm not a racist. Italians, you're not involved. You can't do it, you can't win, I'm sorry. It's not because you live in Italy and I can't afford to ship a car across the whole world. It's because you're Italian. That's what it is. I got screenshots of our conversation of these things that we said to him. One of them being something along the lines of, you Canadians are good for nothing except taking your money. And this guy feels that he's been shat upon. Oh, I, you can't enter because you're Canadian, is what he says. I couldn't enter because I'm Canadian. This is bull crap. So I threw my steering wheel in the trash where it belongs. Listen, buddy, first of all, steering wheel doesn't belong in the trash. It either belongs inside your house or on your car. Or, if you really don't want it that bad, you could send it back. You're not good for nothing but your money. You're good for a lot of things. There's purpose, something, there's a plan for you in your life, okay? Let's not get it twisted. But if you're gonna come and say that those things were said, and then this is actually what was said this is actually what was said oh sorry u.s residents only i'm paraphrasing here because i can't see the message right in front of me because i'm driving and then you said oh that sucks i guess but you said you got shat upon you said that we treated you like crap you can't say that that's what happened and cause this big old commotion on my page and then not have proof it's the only time we've ever talked to you anyways he's not even gonna watch this because he's not watching my videos but i just wanted to share with you guys i'm not a doormat you're gonna try to walk on me and my wife and my company in front of everybody publicly? It's not gonna happen, because I'm not a doormat. Yes, I am a Christian, okay? And I'm trying to do the right thing here. But give me a break! You're lying! You're lying, you're saying that we're racist. See, the problem is everybody puts themselves in this racial box and says that I got cheated the way I got cheated because of my race. I'm not saying 
that there's no racist people out there, okay? There's absolutely racist people out there, and they're terrible pieces of crap. But, if someone's actually being racist to you, I will have your back 110% of the time. I will be there, I will fight for you. You're not not eligible because of your race. You're not eligible because I'm not sending a car outside of the U.S. I don't even think I'm, I'm not, it's not even, Hawaii's not even eligible, bro. Give me a break, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I'm Puerto Rican. You're not eligible. This is ridiculous. Anyways, I just wanted to kind of put that out there because it, it's been, it's been kind of a thing today. This guy's saying that my wife and I said something to him. And it's just not true. And I'm not doing this to fulfill any kind of need of my own, right? I'm not doing this to like prove to the internet anything. But I'm doing this to put it out there that like, you're not just gonna come on and slander us and say that we're these bad people and it's just not true. I'm gonna stand up for myself. I have a backbone. And you better believe if you say anything about my wife, we're gonna fight. Anyways, let's go get this car. Jeez. Are you listening? Damn. camera stopped working so I resorted to my Android because iPhones suck no offense I apologize I don't have an iPhone, boom you you do I'm sorry Hugo Hugo's here in his work outfit because the man works hard and this is Jojo the man I was telling you about in the truck ride here not the guy from the holdfast comments I met Jojo when did I meet you Jojo I met you at uh, Hoonigan huh first time we met was at the after party from Long first Beach first Long Beach or E36 was at the <laughs> a couple years ago yeah a couple three, years ago. Yeah, about three years yeah. ago. Dang. JoJo's been around for a while. I've been in and out. JoJo calls me when I walk out of a Tony Evans film, and he says, Yo, bro, your Pro 2 build, would it happen to be an E46 chassis? Because if so, I feel like the Lord put it on my heart to give you an E46 chassis. So now JoJo has done blessed us with a beautiful E46 coupe. Yep. 328? 328 CI, yeah. It doesn't really matter because... Yeah, it's going to be turned into a monster. Yeah. But for those of you who didn't put two and two together, we are building another 46 chassis. And this is why I said we can't tell them because they're probably going to unsubscribe and stop following us because they're going to do the repeated material. But I'm telling you, this thing's going to be completely different than the Hail Mary. Maybe not so much visually, but more so fabrication-wise, engine-wise, and body-wise as well, because there's gonna be some things that change on the body. But this car is gonna get turned into a monster. This is where it sits. Jojo and his brother pulled out the engine and transmission, like a bunch of bosses. Yeah. Super gangster. It's so funny, yeah, we didn't have an engine pit, so we dropped this up frame. Uh, we put the jet <laughs> under the tranny, put the engine like on a skateboard, and we lifted the back. <laughs> We rolled it out, and now it's just sitting under that blanket. Amazing. It's just, yeah. called getting it done. But it's got no motor, no trans in it. He has a diff, which we're going to take it out, and we're going to shoot it back to JoJo because he wants to weld it, which is yeah, it's, which is a super good yeah, idea. Exactly. <laughs> but it's all gutted. This is kind of like the before. It's got really nothing in it, and I'm, like, stoked. So kind of, like, quick plans i already talked to hugo and jojo so let me tell you people we're gonna end up hacking the car pretty much from here forward we're gonna hack the car from eh, like right here back and we're gonna cut out all this and then skin the doors and it's gonna just be a full-blown race car no sunroof it's just gonna be everything that i wanted the hill mary to be but this will be it because we're not on a time well we kind of are the car needs to be done for sema hugo <laughs> We got a lot of work to do, but it's not so rushed like the Hail Mary. We built that thing in what? Three and a half months? Like ridiculously fast to the point where like we didn't get to do the things that we wanted to do. So we were kind of not forced to cut corners, but it was kind of inevitable in a time frame. So we didn't get to do everything exactly how we wanted to do. So with this chassis, that's the plan is to make it exactly how we want it. Put the new CBM LS3 in it, GSR gearbox, quick change, nice drive shaft, the right axles because even, uh, even the Hail Mary doesn't have the right axles in it. They work. The right axle bolts too. <laughs> they just didn't get tightened down right, Jojo. <laughs> oh, that one hurts. I know that was that was our race. We should have we should have won that. But round two, round two. Round two. Round two. Just a lot of things that we learned building the Hail Mary. Now when we come to build this car, which we have yet to name it. If you guys want to name it, comment below. Tell me a good name for this car. Maybe something that honors Jojo. Give me something that gives a good name for Jojo. What's your shirt say, Jojo? Uh, it's a band. It's a band shirt. Being as an ocean. Okay, yeah. I can't name it anything. Yeah, nope. I can't. <laughs> 
figure it out. We'll somehow honor JoJo, <laughs> the hell Joe or something. <laughs> don't hell Joe. Don't Joe. Okay, don't don't actually hell Joe, yeah. but maybe the cars hell Joe we'll see. We'll see. or Joe. We we'll we'll name it Joe Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Dirt, maybe I don't know. You guys name it. Tell me what the name of this car. We'll figure it out. Maybe something that has to do with Mary's because that's kind of been a thing for us and I don't know what it is exactly, but someday it'll come to, what's the word, F fruition, flourishing? It'll flourish. It'll it'll have a meaning one day. I don't know, hey, I don't know what the Mary thing is yeah, yet. I that, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the car, this is what's happening. Pro 2 build is gonna start, not tonight, but soon. Today, not today, tomorrow, not tomorrow. It's gonna start and we have a short amount of time. Jojo, thank you so much. So for the car. help. I really appreciate it, dude. We started a support team and this is <laughs> This is Jojo's support. contribution to the support. Yeah. You know what? Sticker, and I was like, man, yeah, I'll get a car. That's fine. Mark my words, this gets Jojo four more entries into the giveaway for sure. Yeah. This absolutely does. As always, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Jojo, for uh blessing us and the team with a new car. Yeah. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you for having your ears open to the Lord because if you weren't paying attention to what God was telling you to do, I wouldn't get this you. Car. Exactly. Yeah. That's a, that's a good I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Thank you guys for watching. As always, stay safe. Don't do anything stupid because that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to the professional.